Hello everyone and welcome back to Neptune's Child Tarot. My name is Monique and this is my second tarot channel here on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for your continued love and support. If you're new here, you may also want to check out my main tarot channel, Moon Moth Goddess, where I do have a bunch of other um, pick your card readings posted for you guys into um, playlists. So today's pick a card, um, I thought we'd focus on uh, blessings that are coming in for you this month of July um, 2024. If you happen to watch this reading at a later date, okay, and the mess and you feel drawn to the to the reading regardless of it being for July of 2024. And those messages that come through resonate for you. Um, trust that those are the messages that are met for you at that time. Okay, so anytime you might come um, and watch the reading. Okay. And that goes for any, I feel like any tarot reading, um, even though, you know, we can set the intention, um, as readers, um, here on YouTube, um, you know, to set it for a specific timeline and stuff like that. We have to remember that, uh, time is an illusion. Okay. So this is something that does not exist in the spirit world. So when we're asking spirit, you know, what blessings are coming in. Um, this could be something that might happen for you on a little bit of a different timeline. So whenever you happen to watch this reading and you feel called and drawn to a certain pile, trust that those are the messages that you're meant to receive at that time, okay? Especially if it fits what you are experiencing or are seeing kind of taking shape for you. Okay, so blessings coming in for you in July of 2024 is what we're focusing on today. We do have um, three crystals to choose from. We have, For pile one, we have a pink Lemurian quartz. And then pile number two, um, I think, I can't remember what this one is. It's a, um, it's a jasper. Okay, I think it's an ocean jasper or maybe like a yellow jasper. I'll just put jasper, okay, in the, in the, to help you with choosing. And then for pile three, we have a flower agate. Okay. So if you already know which crystal you feel the most drawn to, you can go ahead and um, click one of the timestamps that you feel drawn to. Um, and it'll take you directly to your reading, but I am going to be adding in one of these cards to help you with choosing your pile today. For those of you that want to know what tarot and oracle decks I'm using for our reading, I always list them in the description box for you guys to find if you're wanting to purchase the deck um, for yourself, okay? I'm always available for private readings. Right now, bookings are about two weeks out, okay? Um, sometimes I'm able to get them in a little bit sooner for those of you that are like focusing on like just a single question, I can usually get to those faster. Okay, but if you're wanting to book a private reading, you just find my email, which is also in the description box. So pile one, what blessings are coming in for you in July of 2024? We're going to pull something for pile two, blessings, 2024 for pile two. And pile three, what blessings are coming in for you? July of 2024. Okay. So let's see. Pile one. We have inner strength. And that is with this pink Lemurian quartz for pile one. Okay. Pile two, we have compassion, and that is with this little jasper heart here. And pile number three, we have a decision, and that is with this flower agate. Okay, so those are the choices um, today. Pile one with inner strength and the pink Lemurian quartz. Pile two with compassion and the Jasper heart. 
and then pile number three with decision and the flower agate. Pause the video if you need a little bit more time and I will see you guys at your reading. Hello pile one. So those of you that resonated with the inner strength card, this is going to be your reading today. So we're finding out what blessings are coming in for you this month, July of 2024. So pile one, what blessings are coming in for you this month, July of 2024? What blessings? Okay, so we have the world. What blessings are coming in for you? We have the Six of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, what blessings are coming in for you? We have the Nine of Wands, we have the King of Swords, the Nine of Cups, the Six of Pentacles. Okay. And we have the Queen of Swords. I love this. Look at that. <laughs> the Queen and King of Swords on both sides. Okay. So underneath the deck, we have the Five of Swords and the Sun. Seven of Cups, the Four of Wands. Okay, so basically what I am getting here, I'm going to put the Five of Swords here. Where should I put this? Maybe up here. And I think I'm going to put the Sun here too because I feel like this is part of this. Okay, so what looks like there has been something, and of course... Take this message, however it resonates to whatever it is that you've got going on in your life. Could be about career, family, finances, home life, relationship stuff, whatever it is. Um, but I noticed that the card that you guys that came out for you guys was inner strength. And so I feel like this is a huge part of this because we have the five of swords as the overall energy, which is certainly very challenging. Okay, now this could have to do with some type of conflict between you and another person, um, it, you know, any type of conflict or challenge that you could be dealing with in your life. Okay, so feel free to apply it to however it needs to go. But it looks like with this, whatever this is for you, this is coming to an end, at least energetically here, because with the nine of wands energy, I feel like this is maybe and I'm noticing she's got a little arrow kind of looks like it's going into her heart. So maybe for some of you, this is love related. Um, or it could be a situation that has been causing a lot of maybe emotional turmoil, stress um, with the nine of wands. This is basically when we've been putting out a lot of energy, expending a lot of energy, whether mentally, physically, spiritually. Um, and we're kind of at that point where we feel like I've gone through so much already. I've been through it. I don't know how I'm going to keep going. And with the inner strength here, which I feel like is a huge part of this, because we have an, this energy here of conflict coming to an end, whether that is your own inner conflict or external environment, okay? So I'm seeing here, some of you, this might have to do with your finances too. It could be that if you feel maybe finances, maybe you've been saving um, saving money or even having that feeling of not enough to go around, maybe fearing scarcity or feeling uh, like I need to hold on and I need to save everything right now. Um, some of you I'm seeing, it's like we have the six of wands energy here, which is about victory. It's about success, some type of achievement. So it's almost kind of like this difficulty 
is coming to an end. And this is where this is required, where spirit could be kind of giving to you energetically inner strength, okay, to be able to handle whatever this is, because we do have the sun here too. And the sun is this beautiful, radiant energy of abundance, of joy, of happiness. So I almost feel whatever this is that you're experiencing right now is something that will be coming to an end here for you. And some for some of you, that's like a huge kind of like sigh of relief. For some of you, I'm seeing that there is, um, there's wish fulfillment here. Okay, we have the Nine of Cups energy, which is about feelings of happiness and fulfillment and satisfaction. Um, we have something that's kind of coming to completion here, which is certainly going to allow for a new beginning. Um, I'm seeing Six of Pentacles energy, which is about equal give and take. It's about reciprocity. So some of you, this might be an improvement, maybe they like say in a relationship situation, um, clear communication, both of you guys understanding each other's needs, being able to resolve some type of conflict here. Um, and for some of you, I'm seeing this blessing that's coming in here as money. Okay. <laughs> money, abundance, being in the flow of receiving, um, and it could be surrounding certain decisions that you make, of course, um, taking decisive action. Some of you may have been saving for something and it's kind of like things are starting to improve. The flow is starting to improve here. Um, so for some of you, yes, I'm seeing a blessing here of abundance. And the Six of Pentacles is about generosity. So this might even be another person who is kind of helping you out. Um, it could be, you know, receiving that increase in abundance or money through another stream of income or even um, uh, maybe something at work that kind of comes through. Because I'm seeing victory here with that Six of Wands. So it's kind of like... This is receiving recognition, okay, appreciation, validation. So this might come in the form of, of, you know, like say a boss who is offering more money or is giving you a raise or you're receiving recognition in your business and that is something that's driving more clientele to you, okay? So the Four of Pentacles is also about security, Um financial security. So some of you, this could be that you are stabilizing um, your finances. Okay. And maybe for some of you, maybe it's been a tough, a little bit of a tough time and there's been a little bit of a financial struggle, but you've been channeling into the inner strength of knowing I can do it. I can make it, you know, I, I've got this and I feel like you're kind of coming out on the other side of this, which is always nice to see. Okay. So let's pull some Oracle here. Now we do have Leo energy here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And then we also have uh, Taurus, Scorpio. Uh, yeah, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Leo. Okay, so what blessings are coming in for you? You know, and sometimes it's easy for us when we're going through challenges like this, it's easy for us to kind of feel defeated, you know, by life, by situations and starts to kind of bring us down. Um, I'm seeing more balance here. Okay. We have more harmony, more balance that's kind of coming into your life here. Okay, so what blessings are coming in for you July of 2024? What blessings are coming in for Pile 1 July of 2024? We have creation, okay? So maybe some of you could be creating something that you know, certainly brings in more abundance for you. Could be maybe a new product or something that you're working on here. You could also feel like empowered, powerful. Like I want to create, <laughs> I want to make decisions here. Um, what blessings are coming in for you July of 2024? We have purpose. I don't know why this isn't focusing here. Purpose. 
Um, creation and purpose. So this makes you think of like purposefully creating something. For some of you that brings in more abundance. Okay. We have organize. Okay. So organization can certainly do wonders. Okay. <laughs> because it helps us to be more focused, more disciplined, which we definitely have here with the king and queen of swords here. More organized, more focused, more disciplined. Um, we have perception. So some of you, your perception could be changing, right? From that of feeling defeated and discouraged and self-sabotaging thoughts to clear mind here. King and queen of swords, clear. Right? No more clutter here with the five of swords energy. So your perception is changing. Okay? Feeling more confident. Let's see. What blessings are coming in for you? Pile one in July of 2024. We have illumination. Okay, so something being illuminated here. Let's see. And then we also have synchronicity, which is always nice to see too. Sometimes this is, you know, the way in which spirit is kind of giving us confirmation that we're on the right path or kind of cluing us into certain things that we need to pay attention to. Maybe that for some of you is kind of being illuminated here as well. And I'm seeing surprises at the bottom. Okay, we'll try to get a little bit more information on maybe what this is for you, but sometimes spirit wants to just leave it for you to find out because it's a surprise. So we'll see what we can get here. Okay, so Spirit, can you let us know a little bit more about what this surprise might be for Pile 1? What is this surprise? The Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> okay. Well, the Wheel of Fortune is a change in your fortune, okay? The Wheel of Fortune talks about good luck, good karma. Um, uh, this could be, for some of you, a windfall of money, okay? Literally, a windfall of money. Um, maybe unexpected, right? Which is also the Wheel of Fortune energy. is also very unpredictable energy. Um, so, yes, a change in fortune. For some of you, this could be an increase in your abundance, the sun, also a card about abundance. Um, some of you might be accomplishing something. Um, completing something that you're proud of, you know, maybe that you've created here. Um, some of you might be working on a creative project and, you know, maybe something you feel is even in alignment with your purpose here. And, and some of you, it might even be writing, okay? Because we have both the Queen and King of Swords here. Um, it could have something to do with knowledge, learning, teaching. Um, but some of you can certainly be creating something, you know, that, that has purpose, that is full of meaning, that could be something that gets recognized, right? Like, let's just say you write something. You're feeling creative and you write something. Um and somebody sees it, right? The Six of Wands is all about being in the spotlight, getting recognition that you deserve. And that might be other people who are like, oh my goodness, I see you. I see your gift. I see <laughs> what you're offering here. Give me some of that, right? We got the Six of Pentacles here, which is about energy exchange um, with, with, you know, that flow of money. So those of you that are kind of, you know, doing things on social media or... Um, helping people even because the six of pentacles is about helping. So if you've also, if you've been someone who um, has been giving your time, your energy, your love, your advice, your this, your that, and you've been doing all of that, we've got the wheel of fortune here. So in a way, it's kind of like you're receiving that good karma in return. Okay, so that's a beautiful thing. That's a really beautiful thing. Um... So the universe, in a way, is giving back, okay? <laughs> giving back. And some of you, you're like, oh my goodness, it's about time because I've been going through it. 
And I hear you on that. Let's see. What is the surprises here? We have the Seven of Swords. And we have the Three of Wands. Hmm. Well, the Three of Wands is about anticipation, waiting for something. And we have the Seven of Swords here surrounding the surprise. So I feel like what Spirit's saying here for some of you is that this might, for some of you, it might not be in the way that you're expecting it. Okay, might not be in the way that you're expecting it. So maybe this is going to be important for you to also really pay attention to synchronicity. Because the Seven of Swords is about trickery and deception. <laughs> so it might be deceiving. You might look at something and be like, hmm, I don't know if this is it, if this is what Spirit's talking about. So it might kind of take shape in your life coming in in a way that you're not expecting. Okay, the element of surprise. Um, hmm, let's see. What is the synchronicity about spirit? The Ten of Pentacles. And we also have the Death card here. Yes, I love this. Okay, so yes, yeah, some of you are, are um, could be receiving, some of you are receiving some type of download here. Some type of idea, divine inspiration, okay? You're going to start seeing not only the download of information that you're receiving. Okay, some of you are going to get it this way. There's going to be a download here from spirit, from your higher self. An idea, a creative spark, an inspiration here, because you do have creation here. Purpose. Some of you, this might have to do with your purpose. This is where it's important to pay attention to synchronicity. It's like, let's just say the spirit comes through with this idea. You have this divine inspiration of, ooh, I feel like I'm, I'm feeling inspired like I want to write a book, right? And then all of a sudden, the synchronicity that you start noticing in your life is, uh, I don't know, meeting a certain person, seeing a certain word. You start noticing books everywhere. You start uh, noticing a publishing company's name start coming up a lot. Okay, it's some type of synchronistic thing here that's going to create some type of huge change. Uh, it, not only to your finances, but this for some of you, this also has to do with your, your family legacy. And maybe for some of you, you don't have it yet, just yet, but the illumination is coming. The clarity is going to come through. So again, it might come in a way, you might receive this in a way that you're not expecting, but it's something that is fated to happen for you, okay? Wow. When this comes through for you, Pile One, come back to this video, please, and let me know what this is and how it showed up for you. Okay? Because some of you, this might even have to do with um, uh, inheritance, okay? Inheritance, family inheritance. Um, something having to do with your, with your family legacy here. The timing of which I feel like is going to be very important. But we have July 2024 is what we're asking the Spirit about. So yeah, I kind of feel like the way in which this is going to come through for you. I also feel, you know, moving out of this energy of the Five of Swords too, because we have perception here with the Ace of Swords, which is kind of like you having a breakthrough. A breakthrough of this energy that for some of you could be creating resistance with this blessing coming in for you. Sometimes we can energetically block things, block blessings, right? Because we're in a certain frame of mind. 
or in a certain frequency of energy where we're not quite in alignment with what spirit is trying to bring to us. It's kind of like we're, we're missing it. We're not in alignment with that energy. So I feel for some of you, once you let this five of swords energy go, again, changing the perception here, inner strength, changing your mindset and of course that's not enough alone right and <laughs> just to change the mindset we've got to we got to change the ideas we got to change the beliefs that we have okay away from scarcity so i'm gonna leave that there um what else do i want to do let's pull some of these what lessons are coming in for you pile one in july of 2024 a new beginning we see that because we have the world here we have stagnant. Okay, so yeah, some of you clearly with that Four of Pentacles energy may have felt like things were a little stagnant for you. But we've got the Wheel of Fortune here. So the Wheel of Fortune is certainly moving. Okay, getting you to move, getting you out of that stagnant place. We have patience, okay. <laughs> Maybe some of you have been feeling like, why have I been stagnant? Why hasn't things been moving? But we have beauty here too. And I feel like the important thing here to also remember is that when we do have those times, right, when we're stagnant in life, it's important for us to also honor that time. Okay. Sometimes it's spirit kind of, in a way, kind of forcing us to take a pause. Okay. So see the beauty in those moments too, because this is also where the clarity comes. And then we have comparison here. So maybe for some of you, there's decisions to make, right? And sometimes we need kind of like that stop to help us. Yeah, we've got inspiration and then movement, okay? <laughs> um, I'm seeing resistance and changes here at the bottom too. So maybe some of you have been feeling a little resistant with making certain decisions or choices. And now we've got movement here with inspiration, clearing, Okay, some of you may have been clearing some energy, the thinking, right? The self-sabotaging thoughts, victim mentality, um, you know, uh, resentment, anger. For those of you that are trying to manifest love and stuff like that, we got to get out of that space. Okay, so maybe, you know, I'm seeing also timing here too. So this is where spirit is t kind of like, confirming that you know everything is happening in divine time sometimes we don't understand it we get frustrated like why am I only here right now and why am I not there yet and why haven't I done this or you know all that kind of stuff but everything has its purpose okay this could be something that you don't see here which is spirit trying to help you to clear things energetically to kind of open up that pathway right because maybe for some of you, holding on to a certain belief system could have been creating resistance, right? But yeah, we've got changes here, which means also understanding letting certain things go, right? To kind of bring in some new energy here. So let's see what else for you. Pile number one. What blessings are coming in for you? July of 2024. Blessings for pile one. We have contentment. We love that. I love that for you. Feeling content. Sometimes we're constantly moving through for, through life and feeling unhappy and, you know, thinking about the next best thing. But for us to feel content, happy, the nine of cups, okay? Satisfied, fulfilled. You know, some of you, the sun energy is here. That's joy. That's your life force energy. Beautiful. Okay. Wow. <laughs> we have a crush reveals their feelings for some of you. We have a gift from someone special. We have the six of pentacles. So that can certainly be, like I said, somebody giving something, sharing something. Like I said, Six of Pentacles is about generosity. So, 
A crush reveals their feelings. Um, Leo energies here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and like you said, the four fixed signs. Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Taurus. What blessings are coming in for pile number one, Spirit? July of 2024. What blessings for pile one? Body goals. I love it. <laughs> Maybe for some of you who've been working on your glow up. Um, that six of wands, you know, again, it's about being in the spotlight, getting recognition, receiving maybe admiration. Maybe somebody's checking you out and it's like, wow, pile one, you looking good. <laughs> um, let's see. Maybe for some of you, it could be the inspiration, right? To achieve certain body goals where you're finally like, you know what? I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to start working on my glow up here. We have healing for some of you. It's happening. It could be much needed. Um, we have a new home. Okay, for some of you, it could maybe moving. We have new friendships and also divine intervention with protection here. And I think I want to look at that one a little bit more. What blessings coming in? For pile one, July of 2024. Blessings, blessings, blessings for pile one. Multiple opportunities. Let's see. And then at the bottom of the deck, we also have a large purchase. Okay, so we like those. Unexpected income is right underneath that. And then we also have dream job and career. Okay, so some of you, this can be maybe new job offer, landing the job that you wanted. Um, like I said, receiving some unexpected windfall, unexpected income of money. Maybe for some of you, this is putting you in a place where you're able to buy something big, right? House, car, um, what else is there? I'm sure there's plenty of stuff out there that I'm not thinking of that are large purchases. Maybe that means... I don't know, electronics or house stuff. Okay, <laughs> that would be what I would spend a large purchase on is house stuff, furniture and things like that. Okay, so I think I want to look at a little bit of this right here before we close out. So what is this divine intervention and protection for? Queen of Cups. The devil and the three of cups. Hmm. Some of you, I mean, this might be a blessing for some of you. I feel like it would be for me too. Some of you, there could, the divine as a blessing for you, this could also be blocking out um, a certain person. Now this could be, I'm getting, there's a feminine energy here. This could be a, a female, okay? Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We also have Capricorn energy here. The Three of Cups can talk about friendships or people that we talk to, socialize with. We have the devil here, which means that this person, whoever it is for you, it could be a friend. It could be a parent. It could be um, a love interest. We've got toxic energy here, though. Okay? So if this person is emotionally manipulative... If they are a person who lies, if they are a person who is trying to control you, trying to manipulate you, um, doesn't have your best interest, spirit is trying to just block this person out. So if you're noticing that you do have something ongoing with a person who is toxic and you're noticing that things are kind of not working out, falling apart, there's a reason for that, okay? There's a reason. So... What is this multiple opportunities here? The four of wands. Yeah, some of you might be moving to a new home. Okay, some of you might have, um, again, a new love interest here. 
potential maybe for some of you for commitment. Maybe that's something that you're wanting, okay? As your blessing is meeting somebody new. We have Aries energy here um, as well. So yeah, I would just kind of watch out, you know, be mindful of certain people that spirit is also kind of working behind the scenes to protect you of or protect you from, okay? All right, so I'm gonna leave this here for you, pile uh, one. I do hope this is helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, pile two. So those of you that resonated with the compassion card, this is going to be your reading today. So we're finding out what blessings are coming in for you in July of 2024, okay? So let's see for you, pile two. What blessings are coming in for Pile 2 in July of 2024? We have the Four of Swords. Swords. Blessings coming in for pile number two. We have the Page of Cups. Judgment in reverse. We've got Scorpio and Pisces energy. What blessings are coming in for you July of 2024? The Devil Capricorn. <clears throat> the Two of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. The Eight of Swords. Okay. So those of you that chose Pile 2. Magician is underneath that. Okay. The, we have Compassion here as the card that you chose. And I feel more or less... This compassion for many of you is for yourself, okay? Because the energy that Spirit is showing me here is for those of you that are healing from something, okay? We have the Three of Swords energy here, which is about pain, suffering, emotional turmoil, disappointment, discouragement. Maybe some of you that have been dealing with um, a breakup, Okay, or just maybe something that has caused you some type of pain. Um, now, even if this is something that may have happened a while ago, um, I feel like the blessing that is coming in for you, okay? Um, because with that judgment card in reverse, this is when we are having difficulty with letting certain things go from the past. And so you could be holding on to a lot of pain, a lot of maybe anger, resentment. Um, I'm seeing the Eight of Swords energy here, which is more or less about us being stuck in a mental prison of our own doing. Um, and if you kind of look at this card here too, there's a person that's kind of almost like this mask that's over her face. It's kind of like breaking open, okay, kind of giving her freedom there. And the devil here, in this card, you can see there's like this snake is kind of like wrapped around her body. Um, and so the devil energy can talk about um, attachment um, or it can talk about feeling, you know, having dealt with emotional manipulation, codependency, attachment, 
addictions or something that is restricting us, okay? And for some of you, this might have to do a lot of your, your mental, your mental state, okay? Um, so the blessing that is here, um, I feel like with compassion being here, this is about you, like I said, having compassion towards yourself, which means there is self-love here. There's you focusing on nurturing yourself, healing yourself. We have the Four of Swords here, which is about rest. It's about healing. It's about quiet reflection meditation. So for some of you, that means having peace. Okay, peace, peace of mind. And with the Two of Pentacles energy here, some of you might have been dealing with a situation that was off and on, hot and cold. Or, or, or even something that was very unstable. Some of you may have been dealing with financial challenges or restrictions surrounding your finances, trying to make ends meet. This is about juggling, okay? Some of you might be literally juggling your finances and, you know, worrying and stressing about, you know, how am I going to uh, have money? How am I going to survive? And just kind of being stuck in a place of fear and doubt and insecurity and Again, we've got emotional turmoil here with the Three of Swords. So I feel like this is kind of spirit coming through here to kind of provide some type of like breakthrough to help you to move past this um, state that you're in here. Okay, because we have the Three of Pentacles energy here, which is about rebuilding. It's also a card of, you know, connecting with others. Um, so for some of you, this might look like um, having a, a job offer come in for you. We have the Page of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. So some of you might be receiving message or news, good news, about a job offer coming in. Okay. Over here, we've got the Queen of Swords and the Magician. And the Magician is a very powerful energy of you... I feel like first and foremost, being in a clear head space, because sometimes when we are dealing with all of this mental anguish and negative thoughts that we're kind of stuck in, it's hard for us to be in that clear head space to focus on what we need to focus on. So I'm seeing kind of here with the Queen of Swords that you're coming through with clear energy that could certainly be helping you with manifesting, um something new new opportunities for some of you, this might be a blessing of some a new love interest coming in for some of you this could be a crush situation um where a person a crush could be coming forward and expressing feelings to you um for some of you like i said i'm seeing this as a job offer some of you it is simply being able to heal being able to let go of those thoughts that kind of have a hold on you, if especially if you have a tendency to obsess, right, over something or someone. The Four of Swords is your mind finally being just like at peace, where your mind is not just kind of like bombarded with all the negativity and all the, you know, intrusive thoughts that are kind of coming in. So... For some of you, that, that's a huge blessing to kind of feel like I can release this. I can let this go, you know. She, the way that she kind of looks here, you're seeing kind of like the front of her face and then the back of her mind with all those, right, those wheels that are kind of just turning and turning. And she looks too like she's got her makeup that's kind of smeared kind of like down her eyes, almost like she's been releasing a lot, you know. And then this one here, she's, she's getting a tattoo, She's getting her tattoo done. She's got her eyes closed. But, um, you know, it could certainly be certain thoughts, certain memories that are kind of happening here. So I certainly feel like this is spirit trying to help you to, you know, be compassionate towards yourself. Because some of you might have really been struggling, you know, with, with some things. And, you know, sometimes we need to have compassion for ourselves because we may have been through a lot. And sometimes... You know, we want to give so much to other people and we neglect ourselves. you know? So I feel like this is spirit kind of helping you to acknowledge maybe the pain that you have or the disappointment that you feel or, you know, the Three of Swords can also talk about betrayal, you know, for those of you that are healing from betrayal wounds here. 
And so, you know, it might be time to give back to yourself in that you are being kind and compassionate and giving yourself what you need at this time. Okay. And, and spirit kind of helping to maybe even provide new friends. Some of you might be having a new friend come into your life. Um, meeting somebody new at work or making a new friend at work. Or like I said, for some of you connecting with a new love interest here. And some of you I'm seeing this as a job offer. Okay. So let's pull some other Oracle cards. Let's see. What blessings are coming in for Pile 2, July of 2024? We have forgiveness, okay? So this is really, especially with that judgment card being in reverse, like I said, some of you may have had a difficult time with releasing certain things. Okay, maybe things that you've been ignoring or been unable to let go. You know, forgiveness isn't always something that happens. Sometimes it's hard for us to forgive, okay? And maybe for some of you, this is forgiving yourself. Um, or for some of you who are feeling prepared to forgive, maybe another, okay? And that can also be something that helps you in that healing process to release the, the energy with it, okay? Blessings coming in for pile number two, July of 2024. We have intuition. We also have willpower, which is interesting too. We got the magician here, which is also about willpower. You know, some of you might certainly have some clarity here about letting go, about forgiving yourself, another, having the willpower to move forward, okay, for some of you, or finding the willpower within yourself to make it through um, a struggle here. Blessings coming in for pile two. We have awakening. So there could certainly be some type of realization, epiphany that you're having. We have embrace here and timing. Embrace and celebration. Okay, what are we going to be celebrating? Let's see what these messages are about. And I'm seeing romance at the bottom. <laughs> for maybe for some of you, um, you are going to be celebrating a new lover, a new romance coming into your life. Um, Embracing new love or ready to embrace new love by releasing what is no longer serving, okay? So especially if you're, you know, caught up, like I said, in a situation with a person who is emotionally manipulating you or, you know, a situation that you've been holding on to in the past that is not serving you, maybe this is you awakening to that realization like, hey, wait a minute. This is keeping me stuck. I'm not getting anywhere. I'm not moving forward, you know? So embracing in the whole release and letting go and embracing new, okay? I feel like timing will also be something that's super important for you here too. Um, some of you, you know, your intuition might be, you know, especially guiding you this month. I mean, it's always, your intuition is always guiding you, <laughs> but are you listening, okay? Maybe for some of you, it's it's that breakthrough that you need, right? Okay, so what does this awakening have to do with the Ten of Pentacles and the hat? Wow, okay. Yeah, some of you, I feel like Spirit's trying to help to align you with your life partner. Um... Some of you might be having a realization or having even the, the courage to leave a marriage or a long-term relationship um, that you feel is no longer serving you, okay? Some of you might be um, blessed with actually meeting your life partner, okay? A new love interest here. 
what is the embrace here we've got taurus energy also Vir gemini virgo what else was here mm, capricorn pisces scorpio already talked about that okay what is the embrace here nine of cups okay well you know with the nine of cups energy in reverse this is when we're feeling discontent and unhappy not satisfied and you know for whatever you've gone through these feelings are valid okay these feelings are valid so i feel like in a way you could be embracing the emotions that you have whatever they might be okay anger sadness because when we can embrace those emotions we're allowing ourselves to feel them so that they don't become something that we suppress that haunt us down the road okay if you're feeling unhappy we're unhappy we're 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 we're, we're feeling it and 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 you know, I feel like in you doing so, embracing the uncomfortable feelings, embracing the uncomfortable emotions, this I feel like is where you have this, your power, because you're not denying yourself the feelings of discontent and unhappiness and things that you feel, the pain that you feel, the, the betrayal that you feel or whatever it could be here, you allow yourself to embrace whatever that emotion is, even if it's a negative one. And that being something that helps you to clear this energy. Okay, so again, being compassionate towards yourself, honoring the emotions that are there. If you're not happy, you're not happy. Let's feel the feelings so that we can learn from them. Okay, what are these feelings and emotions teaching us? What do they teach us about what we've just gone through? What did they teach us about ourselves? Okay, um, what is the celebration here? Five of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> so some of you, the celebration here is we're moving from this energy of despair and emptiness and void and feeling low and for some of you this could have to do again with your finances okay the five of pentacles can talk about when we're in um experiencing like a lot of debt a lot of um financial insecurity okay um when we don't have material resources we don't have um a house where we don't have food. We don't have what we need, basically, right? Our needs are not being met. So you're moving out of that five of pentacles energy, whatever it is that you feel like you're lacking or missing. And we've got the wheel of fortune here, which is beautiful because the wheel of fortune brings a change of fortune for us. So we go from that low place. And again, we have to remember with the wheel of fortune, it is cyclical in nature, right? So sometimes in life we go through the dark times the not so great times and then shift into we have to constantly remember we're moving with the ebb and flow of life and it's not always great but again we have to embrace the emotions that are occurring at that time the highs and the lows embrace all of it because it's your path it's your journey okay some parts of it are more exciting and more beautiful and more fulfilling and some parts of it are ones that we wish would go away. And, you know, it could take us into a really dark place, a really sad place, a really, you know, place that we don't want to revisit again. But we, you know, how well we recover and kind of move in this flow. But I am seeing here celebration, the Wheel of Fortune. It's bringing in positive change for you. And especially for those of you where you've been hurting financially. The Wheel of Fortune brings in windfalls of good luck, abundance, money, um, a change in your fortune for some of you that have been feeling kind of like, I'm never going to find love and all that kind of stuff. 
Wheel of Fortune brings it in. We've got romance here. Okay. Trust in divine timing. Let's see. Did I? What else did I want to do? Spirit, can you tell us about this romance for Pile 2? Seven of Swords. The world. So the deception, the illusion, um, maybe some of you that have been caught up in an illusion about love with a person, a situation, or you've had insecurities surrounding love and romance. This is coming to an end, okay? Spirit might also be kind of giving you as a blessing with the Queen of Swords, the gift of discernment. Okay, a gift of discernment, a blessing of discernment, because if you've got somebody in your life here that is emotionally manipulating you, lying to you, hurting you, betraying you, avoiding you, this is where spirit kind of gives you the clarity to see a situation or a person for who they are, for what it is, and bring that to an end. No more having your needs not be met. This is you kind of clearing the way, you know, and may, maybe even for some of you forgiving yourself for holding on to a person who is creating that illusion. Because sometimes we don't know, right? Sometimes we do get caught up and, you know, attached to a person and caught up in a, in us, you know, being in that illusion to the point where you know, what, what, what am I trying to say? It's like it ends up hurting you, okay? Um, but yeah, I feel like spirit could certainly be giving you a blessing of discernment here where maybe you, you all of a sudden you see a situation for what it is and you're able to walk away. Okay, let's see, one more. Yeah, some of you, yes, look at that. Six of swords, that's moving on. Nine of swords. Some of you may have been feeling a little bit anxious or nervous, stressed out mentally with um, detaching from somebody, moving on from someone, okay? So some of you can certainly have, um, and even if this is something from the past, you know, um, especially if you have a specific person in your life that has been doing that to you and you're in that situation, again, I feel like this is a blessing of discernment here where you're able to see the person's situation. Your intuition is coming online to help you to say, hey, no, this is not okay. Your needs are not being met here. It's time for you to move forward, okay? And for others of you where you've been, you know, single and have been feeling because you may have been hurt in the past, this blessing, again, of you embracing the emotions, the uncomfortable emotions, being compassionate towards yourself, being nurturing, allowing yourself to feel those feelings so that you are able to heal and move on from them. You end this whole cycle of insecurities, of fears, of avoiding and running away from love again, and awakening to your true authentic self, which is going to help you in that change of energy to align with the person you are meant to be with. Now your energy is ready. Right? We've got timing coming in here. So sometimes we need to just kind of spend time and space to really work on healing the self so that we can bring our energy into alignment with the person that we're meant to be with, right? The soulmate or the life partner. Okay, so what I want to do now, let's pull some of these. What blessings are coming in for pile two? destruction so something's being broken down here okay and a lot of that i feel like is your own thoughts um we have clearing here destruction and clearing transition and passion okay so we've got a transition here passion acceptance and peace yes peace with the four of swords up there okay some of you this could be letting go of people situations and maybe that is a that is a blessing especially if these 
people or situations are ones that are not meant for you, okay, are only causing you pain. This is spirit kind of helping you through that transition process, accepting people's situations for what they are. Um, I'm seeing this blessing as you kind of feeling this passion or this desire for some of you to move forward because some of you may have been stuck, okay? Being at peace with moving on, being at peace in your mind, like I said, for some of you, okay? And then we have fertility here. Which, again, to me, this is you manifesting something new. Radiating, glowing, okay? Shining, where it looks like energetically a lot of this stuff may have been taken away from you. It's kind of like spirits helping you from any of you to get your spark back. Okay? Alright, let's do these last cards here and see. I think I need to give these a quick shuffle. What blessings are coming in for pile two? Right away, what was that one? A new pet, okay. Some of you, a new pet. What blessings are coming in for pile number two? New friendships. I just saw new love. What was that? Oh, some of you. Promotion at work. A promotion at work. What blessings are coming in for you? July of 2024, pile two. Blessings are coming in for you. Where is it? Emotional balance. Okay. That's a good one. And I feel for you, especially Pao Tu, to bring your, your own energy into balance. Body goals. Okay. Maybe some of you are feeling... You want to work on yourself, on your body, you know, especially for those of you that have had like, um, I'm almost hearing like revenge body, <laughs> revenge body for some of you working on your fitness. We have divine intervention and protection. So yeah, July, 2024, like I said, there is this devil energy here, which for some of you, it might be another person. Okay, the divine is protecting you. So again, just like I told pile one, if there is something that no matter how hard you try, it doesn't work, it doesn't work out, trust that it's for a reason. Okay. We have destined career path. So, so for some of you, this could be insight surrounding this or... It could even be that there is a job opportunity for you that is coming up with what your destined career path is. For some of you, it could be receiving insight even to even what that is. Some of you might feel like, what is my destined career path? You know, what am I meant to be doing? So some of you could receive clarity um, surrounding that as well. And we have soul family and kindred spirits. Okay, so some of you could be meeting some important people, part of your soul family, people that are like-minded, okay? We have building something new, and then at the bottom of the deck, we also have manifesting a love you did not expect, okay? And like I said, for some of you, this might be your life partner, okay? Manifesting this person into your life. I'm seeing support here and a love magnet, okay? <laughs> so if you were... Through releasing this old energy, it's kind of like your your energy is becoming more magnetic for the love that you do desire. Okay? All right. So that is all that I have for you. Uh, pile number two. I do hope this is helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next reading.
Kripal 3, so those of you that resonated with this card here, Decision. Okay, and the Flower Agate, this is going to be your reading today. So we are finding out uh, what blessings are coming in for you uh, this July 2024. Okay, let's start off with your Tarot. What blessings are coming in for you this month, July of 2024? For pile three, what blessings are coming in? We have the Seven of Cups. What blessings are coming in? The Four of Pentacles, Ten of Swords in Reverse, Four of Cups. Hmm. The Magician. Judgment in reverse. The Eight of Swords. Some of you that chose this pile, okay, might be, might have been drawn to pile two. If you did, I would say watch that one as well. There's kind of a similar energy here. <clears throat> You don't have to if you don't feel called to, but if you were kind of torn between two and three, I would say listen to both. What blessings are coming in? Yeah, there's a lot going on here too. Blessings. Queen of Swords. One more. Six of Cups. Okay, I, I'm not going to lie. This energy is challenging here that's come through here. Um, so give me a moment just to kind of figure this out. I still want to take some time to work through this, but I feel like I'm going to talk about, because of course, you know, when we're reading tarot, we ask spirit something, <laughs> we ask spirit something for clarity or to give us an answer on something when we have a question. But I feel like the energy that spirit has kind of brought through in this pile is coming out for a reason. Okay. Um, so like I said, this is some pretty heavy energy here. Um, a lot of this energy feels like you guys could be going through something or even feeling like life in general has been really challenging. Now, some of you could currently be going through the thick of it. And for some of you, it may feel like this is like the story of my life. Okay. Kind of thing. Um, but I feel like although there are some challenging energies that are here, the positive is that we have the Magician here, the Four of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords is in reverse, and we have Queen of Swords, Six of Cups. So I want to kind of talk about the not so great things so that we can kind of move into where this is kind of turning around for you. Okay. So we have the six of cups, which can be a beautiful energy of nostalgia and, you know, memories of the past and 
be yeah just beautiful energy but that six of cups energy can also be when we are kind of lingering in the past and i'm seeing specifically with the five of cups energy here and we've got four five and six of cups and the seven of cups four five six right four five six and seven of cups um so i feel like you're working through and moving through this energy which is emotional okay the four of cups is when we are feeling discontent we're feeling dissatisfied we're feeling unhappy we're feeling kind of in a state of feeling sorry for ourselves sometimes. Um, we could be feeling bored. We could be feeling indifferent towards life. Okay. Emotionally checked out, withdrawn. And then we have the Five of Cups energy here, which is talking about grief, pain, depression, sadness, regrets, guilt, remorse. Okay, and generally these things are coming from from situations from the past, right? Grieving of something, the loss of something or someone. For some of you, it might be someone from your past or a situation from your past, okay? And that might put you in a space of the Seven of Cups energy here where you're kind, kind of like not fully present here and now. The Seven of Cups can talk about fantasizing. It could talk about illusions and sometimes delusion if we let it go too far. The Four of Pentacles energy can talk about attachment, possession, control. Okay. Ten of Swords is here. It's in the upright, which is a positive thing, but all of this pain is going somewhere. And so that Ten of Swords, if I can pick this up, is heartbreak betrayal a painful ending to something right so maybe some of you have been going through a breakup going through you know something painful here um the positive like i said is that this is healing this is being able to heal from whatever this is um but it was here right it was here it might still be present for some of you we have the judgment card in reverse, which is when we are unable to release certain things from the past. We have resentment, we have anger, we have, you know, all kinds of things that are kind of bottled up within us. Some of you could be having a hard time with um, opening up with, um, I'm seeing the eight of swords energy here, which is sometimes when we're caught up in our head, negative thinking, self-limiting beliefs. Again, maybe moving into that four of cups energy here where we feel like things, life isn't going to improve. We kind of just like really like succumb to all of these heavy feelings and the emotions to the point where sometimes we can get stuck there. Okay. And so trying to find kind of like your way out of that here. Um, so yeah, I don't know what this is, okay? It's, it might be very different for all of you. Like this could be the way that you feel about a relationship, the way you feel about a past person, the way you feel about life in general, the way you feel about a job. Um, so the positive here in that when we're asking spirit, what are the blessings that are coming in for you? We have healing, okay? We have healing. The Four of Pentacles is also, a po in a positive light, it is about security. It's about stability. The Seven of Cups is also about our dreams. Dreams. Magician is here. This is where the magic is, within you. Okay? So with the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords is about discernment and clarity and decisive action and clear thinking. And now I will say with the Four of Cups, Five of Cups, Six of Cups, Seven of Cups, Ten of Swords, and what that is doing to a person emotionally, mentally, we're not very clear, right, in our headspace because we're constantly worrying, we're feeling disappointed, we're feeling discouraged, we're feeling sad, we're, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like we're being weighed down by all of this emotional and mental turmoil, okay? And so with judgment being in reverse, 
there could be a lot that we're not seeing, especially with the Four of Cups here. The Four of Cups is about being distracted. It's about not paying attention. It's also about missing out on opportunities or rejecting opportunities that are there to change the situation, to change the way of thinking, to change the emotional state of being. So I feel the blessing for you, Pile 3. Um, and as I'm saying that, I'm seeing epiphany or realization here at the bottom of this deck that I'm going to use. This could very well be a breakthrough. You know, the card that you chose says decision. Okay. So I feel like the decision here, do I keep myself in this energy? Or do I decide that I am going to step into my power to create change in my life that is going to make me feel more secure, more stable, and open myself up to leaving the past in the past and being able to start fresh and new. Some of you might literally be going through this month, this process, because we do have epiphany and real realization here, where you could be recognizing how sometimes our own feelings, our own thoughts can keep us stuck. Okay? So I feel like in the month of July 2024, many of you might be having that epiphany or that realization and making the decision to you step into your power as the magician to pick up that those tools, right, that we all have. The pentacles, right? The the swords, the cups, the wands, all of these four um suits in the tarot are expressions of different types of, of energies that we have, right? The cups talk about our feelings, our emotions, our intuition, our creative energy. The wands are about our passion, our creativity, our spiritual energy, our ideas, our inspiration. The, uh, the swords talk about our ideas, our actions, our words, um, our thoughts. And then the pentacles is all of the material things in life, right? Our friendship, our family, our health, um, our relationships, our money, our career. So the magician is basically all of us have the power. All of us have the tools to be able to change the feelings, the emotions, the thoughts, the beliefs, the ideas that are kind of keeping us stuck. Okay, so for many of you, I feel like this blessing is, to me, this is kind of like Ace of Swords energy or the Tower energy, the Hangman energy, um, the deep insight that could come through with the Hermit energy, is you having an epiphany or realization that I don't have to sit in this energy any longer. For some of you, the Queen of Swords energy can come through, which is super powerful, Okay, this is you being in a very clear headspace to be able to take action, to make decisions in your life. Do we want to sit in that four of cups energy for the next three years, for the next three months? Or are we going to pick ourselves up and step into our power here to create change, to change the energy? Okay, so there's movement here for you. For many of you, into a place of financial security, stability. It may even be that you feel more stable within yourself, more grounded within yourself. And maybe this is like a long time coming because for many of you, you may have been holding on to a lot of this energy that could have been affecting you. But now it's kind of like you can focus here on what your dream is, what your vision is, and start making decisions that help to bring this dream, this vision to life. Okay. For many of you, you may have been ignoring the call, the, your soul's calling and spirit has been 
nagging at you, <laughs> nagging at you, like, come on, you got to take this leap of faith. It's time to go. For some of you, this is helping you to get out of your comfort zone, to stop the overthinking, to stop the negative thinking. Okay, so, you know, for some of you, this could be moving on from the past. So I want to look at this magician energy a little bit. What is this magician here? There it is, the hanged man, the change of perspective. Some of you, this blessing is your shift of perspective. Okay? A change in your perspective. You're no longer, again, sitting in this four of cups, five of cups, six of cups, seven of cups energy, right? Some of you with the Seven of Cups energy here, this can also talk about having options. Okay? Seeing the options. Being able to see the option. Because here we're not seeing it. We're distracted here. We're focusing on what we no longer have. We're focusing on the past. Remember when this. Remember when that. Right? We're not fully present. So for many of you, this shift of perspective is a blessing. We're going from feeling helpless and hopeless to I'm in my power. The hangman is also the energy of surrender. Okay? Sacrifice. Letting go. Giving in to... Um, I feel like in this case to... Knowing that, yes, certain things happen to us in life, we go through certain things, and sometimes those are things that we don't have control over, but we do have control over our, our emotions. And here in this Eight of Swords energy is kind of like our mind is keeping us captive with the negative thinking or the self-limiting beliefs. We too have power over that. Sometimes we feel like we don't, Right? So this is you as your blessing here of you through the month of July is having that shift of perspective of seeing yourself as that powerful magician, queen of swords, okay? And interesting that you guys chose Hecate too with decision. Hecate is, you know, all about being at the crossroads. So for many of you, this is like, you know, making big decisions here with your life moving forward. Okay, let's see what else. What is this magician energy? The Five of Wands and the Hierophant. Yeah, some of you are, are, this change of perspective is because you're changing your beliefs. And I feel like a lot of the beliefs that you have um, are about you, yourself, or even about the past. Okay. Sometimes these beliefs can be limiting. Some of you can be letting go of some type of commitment. Okay. Letting go of some type of commitment. Now it could be a commitment to a job, a commitment to a relationship. Um... Some of you might be also letting go of like a high level position that you have at work and you're just kind of feeling like this doesn't make me happy. I feel bored. I don't feel emotionally fulfilled. I don't want this anymore, but you haven't let go. Okay. So, so, so spirit might be giving you through the month of July, this blessing of clarity of you being able to have the strength to let go to say no more of that job that's making me feel bored out of my mind. No more complacency, okay, in my career. No more stagnancy. I have a dream that I want to fulfill, and I'm going to make it happen. So I, I see this as, yes, we're starting out kind of like, you know, dark and dreary with this energy, but it's, it's all for, I feel like, a, a good purpose of helping you to gain some perspective here on how, again, our own thoughts, our feelings, our beliefs can either make or break 
uh, us in a way, you know? So I, I see this as this blessing of you having the power to choose something that is going to provide you with more fulfillment, more happiness. Um, I'm hearing Spirit say, turn that frown upside down. <laughs> turn that frown upside down. Okay. Um, so let's see what else here. Yeah, I think of like the Four of Cups. It reminds me of, um, for those of you that are familiar with like um, Winnie the Pooh, the Four of Cups reminds me of Eeyore. You know how Eeyore is always like, <laughs> like, like he's under a dark cloud and just like everything is like, ah, uh, just so, he's, poor thing. <laughs> he's just, but that's, the, that to me is reminds me of Eeyore. Okay. So what are, and we all have those moments, okay? No judgment. I know I've certainly been there many times <laughs> in my life where everything is just, just bad and just, yeah. Okay. So what blessings are coming in for you in July of 2024? Okay. So we have surprises. We have beginnings here. And this is your new beginning. We have release. Okay. Letting things go. Letting feelings go. Emotions go. Thoughts go. We have your intuition here. Resolution. Now this might even be resolving something with someone. Or it might be coming to your own resolution about a person or a situation that you could be dealing with. And for some of you, it could be releasing. Okay. And I feel for some of you, as you go through that process of release, no matter what it is, okay, of releasing what is no longer serving you here and your intuition guiding you to do so, we have a beautiful new beginning here. And for some of you, there's a surprise waiting in a way. Because, you know, when we're letting go of people or situations or ways of thinking, right, perspectives, beliefs that don't serve, the universe, we create space energetically to receive new. Okay. So what blessings are coming in? I'm seeing forgiveness. Forgiveness. So some of you, the power to be able to let certain things go, right? Energetically, forgiving someone, forgiving yourself. We also have temptation here. We have passion. And we have family, okay? So maybe for some of you, there might be some resolution surrounding family or a family member. Um, like I said, for maybe it's, some of you, it's conflict resolution, Mm, I don't know why. For some of you, the surprise in family here, maybe some of you are going to be recognizing you're a parent or a grandparent or a new baby coming. Pregnancy for some of you. I want to see a little bit more about what this... What does this temptation have to do with for you? The Nine of Swords, this is anxiety, mental anguish, the Fool, ah, there is the Fool. So this month, July 2024, your blessing here, Spirit could be helping you, even though there's anxiety here. Some of you might be feeling real tempted to take some type of big step outside of your comfort zone here. And again, the willpower to do it. You've got the magician here. Look at that. <laughs> the chariot is here. There is your car. Your chariot awaits, pile three. Okay. Um, some of you, this chariot could talk about just the, the, the power of being able to move forward, of envisioning success, victory, accomplishment. 
Okay? The chariot is about us. It's it's the external driving force that helps us to 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 do something. It's like our I look at it as our spiritual car or vehicle. So um it requires a lot of us bringing our own energy into balance, okay? It requires us to get both the feminine and the masculine energies to work together to do something. It requires a lot of strength, a lot of power, a lot of confidence in yourself. Some of you might be feeling really nervous, like and tempted, like, should I do this? Should I do that? I feel like, again, Spirit's going to be giving you that clarity here to make important decisions. Okay, maybe some of you are making an important decision for your family. The chariot is about moving forward or moving on. Some of you, this could be traveling, relocating, um, moving somewhere even. Like if you're like, okay, I really want to move there, but my fear is holding me back. I feel like I'm stuck where I'm at. And you're, you, again, you're channeling into this power this month, July, okay, for many of you. You're recognizing your power to change right circumstances here you're taking things within your hands to change <clears throat> the outcome for yourself right instead of sitting and and wallowing in that energy there it's it's kind of like breaking out of it and clear focus decisions getting things done okay let's see let's use This energy here, pile three. What blessings are coming in for you? July of 2024. Abundance. I love it. Abundance for you, pile three. Forgiveness again. Okay, yourself, another. This certainly helps us with releasing a lot of energetic burden that we're carrying. Um, stagnant. Okay, so we've got movement here. We've got the chariot. Some of you that have been like, oh my goodness, my life has been stagnant for so long, I can't stand it anymore. Okay, again, this isn't necessarily, you know, something outside of you that is taking the stagnancy, stagnancy away. This is you. This is you making that change. Okay? Stepping into your power here. Thoughts. Um, this reminds me of the Eight of Swords, right? Look at all that crazy stuff that's going on. In the, I mean, it is a leaf. It's a, it's, a, it's a picture of a leaf. But I chose this image for this card because it reminds me of like when our thoughts are scattered and kind of like all over the place. Um... So in a way, maybe this is for some of you organizing clarity of thought, right? Sorting through. Um, we have healing here. And we have dreams at the bottom. Okay. So yeah, some of you making dreams come true, taking action, making decisions, moving out of a place of stagnancy. Okay. We've got ending here and a decision. So some of you could be making a decision to end something. Or bring an end to something, which certainly brings about a new beginning for you. That ending could be a person, a situation, again, a way of thinking, a way of feeling that may have, have been keeping you in that stagnant energy. Okay? Taking, taking control. Taking back control of your life. Let's see. Pile three. What blessings are coming in for you? I don't know why pile three, but every time I get to your pile, I start getting hungry. <laughs> like I start thinking about food and what I want to eat every time I get to pile three. What blessings are coming in for you July of 2024? We have a love magnet, okay? And I feel like as many of you kind of work through releasing this energy too, your energy does naturally become more magnetic, okay? 
Um, we have passive income. So some of you can be creating a way in which you can have another stream of income here. Okay, that's always a good thing to have. So we're not depending on just one source of income, right? So passive income. What blessings are coming in for you? And if you've already kind of created something um, in order to produce passive income, some of you might be seeing the, the, the money start coming in, okay, from that, whatever that is that you've done. Or if you haven't, this would be a time to start, right? Start creating something. Look to your natural talents, skills, abilities. Or if you feel like I don't have any and that's not true because we all do. Think of think of one or try something new. Learn something new. Learn a skill. Learn a hobby. Um, a talent, right? And something that could create passive income for you. Okay. So what blessings are coming in for you in July of 2024? We have a promotion or a raise. We have spiritual gifts are heightened. Wow. That's awesome, Pile 3. Your spiritual gifts are being heightened. We have your enemies being revealed. That's always a plus. That is a blessing. And another stream of income. Okay. What blessings are coming in for you in July of 2024? Pile three. We have good news. I want to see what this is about. So we're going to get more information. Maybe some of you have been waiting for news for something and Spirit's saying you're going to be receiving good news in the month of July. Okay. Or like I said, if you're watching this reading at a later time, if the messages that are coming in are resonating, take them. Release of toxic habits. What are you doing, Pile 3? <laughs> what kind of toxic habits do you have? Okay, we have Div every pile got this, and I love that. Okay, every pile got this card. And there's a big stack here, so I love that this has showed up for every pile. Divine protecting you. Maybe for some of you with your enemies, especially, right? Okay, let me clarify... Mm. Let's look at this enemies revealed here. That might be an interesting pick a card, but I don't know if I want to go that dark uh, <laughs> into toxic energy. What is this energy surrounding the enemies being revealed, Spirit? Temperance, patience. Spirit says patience. Could be a Sagittarius. Enemies revealed. The Queen of Cups in reverse. And the Knight of Cups. Some of you, this has to do with a love interest that maybe doesn't have your best interest in mind. Um... For some of you, this could be a mother, a, fe a feminine here. We've got Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, this could be a person who is insecure. Okay, it could be a female for some of you, but I don't want to limit it to that because we also have the Knight of Cups here, which could certainly be a love interest. Um, I feel like for some of you... There could be a, a romantic connection that you're being protected from. This could also be a person who struggles with addiction for some of you. With adult beverages, okay, is what I'm getting. Um, so they may not necessarily be in the best emotional state or well-being to be around you, okay? And spirit could be protecting you from that. 
Um, maybe that person is the person who has the toxic habits here. But the Queen of Cups, when she's in reverse, she can be super insecure. Um, it could be a person who is um, kind of emotionally unstable person. A person who is also manipulative. Okay? That is the Queen of Cups. That's her shadow. Her shadow energy. Manipulation. Um, it can also be being needy, clingy, smothering. Um, or completely detached and cold. Um, so this might be a person that spirit is just trying to protect you from this person's energy. Okay, for some of it, it could be a person that you work with at work. Um, and I almost feel like spirit's saying, but the temperance card being here, which is about patience, I almost feel that by spirit telling me that, that this person could end up kind of like telling on themselves. Okay. Like revealing themselves as your enemy because they're jealous of you or they're insecure. Okay. Mm. And because your intuition is heightened here, you're going to be able to pick it up. You're going to know. Pile three. That is a blessing, right? Then you know, right then and there, cannot trust this person. Okay? That is a blessing. Because sometimes we're we're divulging all of our secrets to and telling people stuff and then come to find out. No. Alright, so what is this divine intervention about spirit? Maybe that's what it is. Protection. Protecting you. Revealing your enemies to you. Okay? Spirit sees what we don't see and sometimes things fall apart and we don't know why. That is why. Okay? For some of you, this is a love interest that Spirit is protecting you from. Maybe they are someone who is not wanting to open up to you and it could end up being something that actually hurts you. Okay? Emotionally. Um, hmm... Might even be deceptive with Queen of Cups in reverse energy because of the manipulation that's there. What is this divine intervention about, Spirit? Six of Pentacles. Okay. Queen of Wands. Sagittarius. Aries. Leo. For some of you... Spirit is protecting your finances. They're trying to bring people to you. Um, maybe a very generous person. Especially for those of you where you might be kind of struggling financially. Or you're needing some help. The Six of Pentacles is about charity. Some of you might also be being protected from somebody who is trying to um, take money from you. Okay. And it could be because you could be someone who is very generous and you just give and give and give, whether it's your time, your money, your energy. And you could be so nice with just giving that you don't even recognize or you don't even see a person who is just taking advantage of that. So you could certainly be protected by somebody who is doesn't give back to you but just, just takes from you. Okay? This is the other thing I want to look at here. What is this good news? We have the strength card in reverse. Why is that good news? What is this about? What is this good news? The seven of pentacles. Nine of pentacles. Hmm. Night is at the bottom. Well, the good news that I do see here, even though we've got some fear here and a lack of confidence in something and maybe even a little bit of frustration here of waiting for something to happen or waiting for something to come together here. I feel like Spirit's showing here that there's going to be good news surrounding 
your situation, whatever it might be. For some of you, it has to do with your finances. Um, because the Knight of Pentacles is about committing ourselves, dedicating our time, our energy, our focus, our planning, our organization of kind of like getting our ducks in a row, right? Planning things, taking the steps that we need to, slow and steady progress. But I feel like Spirit's saying there's going to be great reward that comes from you getting everything in line. Because we have um, the Nine of Pentacles here, the Seven of Pentacles, which of course is leading up to that. But the Nine of Pentacles is about financial independence. It's about security and stability and being able to, especially for those of you where we've got two, what is it, two messages, right? Passive income. And I thought there was another one here. Another stream of income. Um you know, maybe the good news is surrounding that too, receiving more income here. And it's putting you in a place of that nine of pentacles energy, which is beautiful. Okay. This is you being solid. This is you being independent, stable, secure it's in the month of July and maybe getting, figuring things out, right. And getting it, getting it in under control. Good news. Okay. All right. So that is all that I have for you. Pile number three. I do hope this was helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next reading.